and welcome to Windsor Stadium for this third match of the Emerging Nations World Championships. Today it's Paul Arundel with you for this third game and Dan McKemley has joined me in the commentary position again. And uh, we've had two crackers so far with Malta getting up in the first game. And just then Turkey too good in the end for, for a spirited Solomon Island side. And we're about to... Uh, Get underway with the final match of the day between Hungary and Greece. Should be an absolute cracker of the contest. Apologies for the uh, the wind coming through the uh, effects mics wherever you are. It's quite windy here in Windsor. Well, there's not much cloud about. It's a, it's a very cool breeze or very strong wind here into the grandstand. But, uh, just waiting for the teams to come out onto the field. Uh, as you can see the, the shadow of the grandstand creeping over the Windsor complex. Quickly go through the Greece team. At fullback we've got Nick Margios. The wingers are Demos Katsakanis and Tyrone Takamano. The centers are Costa Katsidonis and Sam Stratus. The halves are Alex Zamranos and Tremaine Trezes. The front row is Michael Korkidis and captain, and also Stefanos Bastos at the front rowers. Peter Manzoulis is at hooker. Terry Constantine and Adam Varanos are the second rowers, and Billy Margolius is the 13. Their bench is Jake Varanos, Jonas Rosglo, and we've got uh, Billy Trasakis on the bench as well with Florence Zaranos. That is the Greek team, and. Uh, we will struggle to get through that. We'll try our best. The Hungarian team is at fullback is Benjamin Bronson. The wingers are Brent Volgor and Cruz Toure. The centers are John Esteros and Billy Moser. The halves are Aaron Forkosh and David Forkosh. The front rowers are Simon Kalafaz and Jamin Korbach. The hooker is Nathan Forkosh. The back rowers are Jason Gerich and Paul Ivan. And the lock forward is Jaron Forkosh. And on the bench, we have Dean Weatherill, Jula Nicoletti, Daniel Ivan, and Kure Ochai, and Gregory Nooji. That's up the uh, Hungarian side. As I said, there's a few tongue twisters in amongst that there. Mate, back-to-back -back games, it doesn't get any easier. <laughs> You've done very well there. I'll give you a solid 9 out of 10 for that. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Anthem of Greece. We'll get upstanding for the National Anthem of Greece.
So only moments away from kickoff now. In the third match of the day here at the Emerging Nations Championships here in Windsor. On Thursday, we move on to St. Mary's. So here in town, in Sydney, if you want to watch some good Emerging Nations Rugby League, make sure you head down to St. Mary's. Four games on Thursday too, so a big day down there. Massive day. It's been a massive day here in Windsor. It's been brilliant, thanks to the Windsor Wolves for putting on a good show. As we saw from that um, Hungarian flag at the national anthem, the breeze is blowing directly straight across the field, so neither team will be advantaged by it. The only bad thing is it's blowing straight into our faces as well. So Paul Korsh gets us underway with a kickoff. It's a dodgy bounce to start with. It's well done by constant time, but he's gone into touch, so dream start for Hungary, not a good start for the Greece side. Yeah, really, really good chance here for Hungary to, to start this game off on the front foot. Difficult kick off to take, and unfortunately for Greece, put a foot into touch, so full set of six here for Hungary inside the attacking 20. We've seen some tricky bounces uh, throughout the day in the other games, and uh, that one was uh, right on cue from the kickoff from Paul Korsh. Lock forward, Jared Forcourse will feed the scrum. There's four Forcourses in the side. Are they all related, you reckon? I hope so, as that's Bronson. I won't back say... Back-to-back uh, back games with brothers in the halves, then. I won't say how I tried to uh, pronounce them earlier on. But, uh, that's Garrich with the first hit-up that he's got the afternoon. 11 out from the line. Hungary is spread to the left. They go that way through Forcourse. Cuts out one and off. Oh, we've got a first try here. James Paulvast is under. And well, that was all too easy for Hungary. Dream start for the Bulls. And we're less than two minutes old. And Hungary get the first try through James Paulvast. Yeah, just a bit too easy there for Hungary. Nice short ball. And Korvash goes through a gaping hole. And however he goes for the first try in this Emerging Nations Championship for Hungary. Lovely short ball from the halfback, David Forkosh. And that's try time for Hungary. 4 0 with a kick to come. Yeah, superstar of the Hungarians playing their first Emerging Nations Championship. As you uh, mentioned in the, uh, the previous match, you saw the Hungarian team warming up. There's some big fellas in the uh, Hungarian side. That's right, Hungary scored by number 10. James Kovac has scored 104. Chris Nill, kick come. There is he, um, the man on the screen, James Korvors. Now it'll be Jared Forkors to uh, try and add the extra two points. I want to see a four course to four course to four course to four course try. Well, he's out of the extras, Jared Forkors. And we had it earlier this, this year up in Newcastle, Dan. I, I think you did a Briggs to Briggs to Briggs. <laughs> this, that'll be next level, the four four quarters. <laughs> Big shout out to the Macquarie Scorpions. Uh, a few of those boys, they're playing in the uh, Koori knockout out at Dubbo. So we're back underway. Wind is blowing very heavily. And getting underway here as this is Calafuz, Simon Calafuz. It's Nathan Forkosh, a dummy half. This is his brother Aaron. It's a very good start here to this set of six here for the Hungarians. It's Korvac, the try scorer, will play it on the 40. I'll go out to the left hand side. This is Gerich. David Forkosh with the, the kick there. It's going to go down to Mugios. Did well not to knock it on there, Mugios. Just pulled his hands away at the last second and played it off his knees and very composed there from the fullback. So Katsakonis will go for a run from dummy half and take a couple more metres. Just looking to get through this set here as that's the big uh, number 10, Stefanos Bastos, up to the 20. 
And this is Korkidis, the captain. The veteran. Plenty of Super League experience. Play with the Roosters back in 01 02. Out of retirement to lead the Greeks. And Greece get the first penalty of the match. Mamzoulis was uh, looking to play on. The referee said, no, we'll come back here. You'll get a penalty and opportunity to kick the ball upfield. So he's a uh, bound touch. It's not a bad touch finder. 33 out from Hungary's line. So the first opportunity here for Greece. Down 6-0 early. Looking to hit back almost immediately as here Stratus. Met heavily there by uh, two defenders, Paul Ivan in the tackle and also Aaron Forkosh. Come this short side now. This is Constantine. Mzulis at dummy half. Running across is Terez. Running up through the hands here. It's not a bad looking set here as Karkosan is out the back. Knock on here, it looks like it's been touched in flight here by the Hungarians. Looks like the referee's rule, so Greece will get another full set. Did well to get to a hand to it there. Bad numbers on the outside, Greece. Pass got knocked down, otherwise, the winger was down the sideline with the fullback to beat. Good opportunity to, to let you guys know streaming this game live on Bar TV Sports. We're streaming all the games live on Bar TV Sports, so make sure you leave your comments in the comments section. Let us know who you're cheering for, where you're cheering from. Uh, there'll be four games on Thursday, as I said, every game going live. So, big thank you to Bar TV Sports. It's a big, heavy contact there. That's uh, Tyron Takamo in Jersey 20. It's more forward now, Margolis. Gets it away, Margolis. So number 10, Bastos, will play the ball. It's Margolis again. Very hard to pick up these uh, numbers on the back of the, uh, the Greece jerseys. We'll do our best as Mamazolis at dummy half. They go to the right hand side. So number 12, Varnos. Varnos still going. Two metres out from the try line. Numbers both sides. And Mamazolis will go himself from dummy half, but he's just going to be short. He'll held up close to the line. Last tackle. Going out here to Trezaz. Flicks it out the back. Margolis has got it. He puts it on the toe behind the winger. And Vagor cleans it up. But we're going to have a line goal drop out here for Hungary. So a very good set there for Greece. Yeah, they look like they might get caught on the last. A little flick pass out the back. Came out the back to Billy Magalas. Put it on the toe and he's earned his team a repeat set. So well done there by the lock forward. Is, uh, getting very strong here at uh, Windsor Stadium. Apologies if you're sitting at home watching the coverage. So Aaron Forkosh will get us back underway and uh, kicking into that wind as you can see is pretty stiff. He still kicked it 40 metres. He's Kokitas. Constantine again, and busy early. Mamzolas from dummy half. The linking up there was Zaranos. Bit of a dangerous tackle there, and the referees picked it up. Jason Garrich has uh, been penalised in the quick play on here. Oh, it's a very good bump, and we're going to try. Adam Varnos has gone over for Greece. Took the quick tap. Before he knew it, Greece is over underneath the sticks. Yeah, just bumped off that first attempted at tackle and put his head down and went for the line and too much speed, too much power. Goes underneath the black dot and scoreline 6-4 with a kick to come and Greece strike back. I'm not sure who uh, Varnos has bumped off there in that uh, try, but it reminded me of my own tackling style back in the day, just getting bumped off like a speed bump. <laughs> Is it Sam Stratus was in front? He's blown over there, and uh, we need more paperweights up here in the uh, the commentary section. That's right, Greece number nine, Peter Mamazoulis. 
Running repairs out there, you can see Vamos the try scorer is getting taped up. We saw Blake Mackey in the early game for Philippines gets taped up. As you said, Paul, that'll be available at the uh, the fan gear shop on uh, Thursday. Mackey's headgear. So Sam Stratus to level things up here. I'm not willing to call this home. We've seen one miss from here today, so. It makes no mistake, so it's six all here. And this pool B fixture at well, the Emerging Nations scorer. World Championships. Six, Hope you enjoying the coverage here, brought to you by Bar TV Sports. The Masters of Second tier rugby league coverage here in Australia. Wasn't sure where you're going to go with that one, then Paul. Yeah, good recovery. <laughs> so Aaron Forcourt will get us back underway. Six all, entertaining first ten minutes of this Pool B fixture. He's Corkitas straight from the hit off. Good leg drive there, getting up to the twenty. Katsikonis or thought he was going to go for a dart from dummy half, but he offloads the pass there to uh, Bastus. Good scamper from dummy half here from Memozolis. Very dangerous run there, the number nine. Look out for him. Just over the 40. And center field here. After a fast start from Hungary, they haven't really had a lot of ball in the last five or so minutes. Uh, here's Memozolis again. I'm straight in the caucus. Aaron Forkush going out to the uh, right hand side again as Bastus pops it out the back and uh, Zoranus also flicks out the back it's a bit of hot potato stuff here at the moment and Trezor's gets the kick through and it's been cleaned up there by Kovac so it was uh, two rate that's for his first run get far and he yearns his side a penalty he goes for the quick tap Cruz Toure comes back in center field towards the the dust pile looking for a quick play of the ball Jared Forkush didn't get it well a bit of a fumble there from Moser did well to hold on to it there Moser so this is Aaron Forkush go again this is the big front row James Corvach got the first try for Hungary first minute of the match it's four course puts that on the toe it's been deflected David will there, be there to clean it up so the referee is going to pack a scrum I tell you what Paul I'm not big on the old quick tap it took them probably three or four tackles to get up to where they probably would have kicked it into touch anyway I know sometimes it can catch teams unawares, but most teams these days are pretty switched on to that sort of stuff. Would like to have seen yeah. him just slow the play down. It's the first time they've had the ball in a while. Just kick the ball into touch and, and start your set deep in the other team's half. Well, Bruce got a try a moment ago from the quick tap, so maybe <laughs> Paul Course was thinking I'll do the same. Didn't turn out that way as Takamo was tackled on the 40. Solid contact there on Constantine. Terry Constantine wrapped up there on halfway. It's Kokitas. So Memonzolis brings it into Bastus. Go to the right hand side again. Solid contact there on Varnos. He's brought to ground. The headband on now. Adam Vranos after scoring that try as they go through down the short side. It's gone in the touch. Alex Vranos reads the line and a bit of a wobbly old pass goes over the sideline there. So hungry, a bit of a lead off there for the Bulls. You can see a few of the supporters have made their way out to Windsor Stadium. A 
the Greek supporters as well. well we've got Jared Farker who um, laces his boots up for the Windsor Wolves, so this is his home patch. Might have a few supporters out here today. Here's the big number 11, Gerich. Feeling for a uh, penalty, Nathan Forkhorst. It didn't come. This is Borgore. There's his side of penalty, Brent Borgore. They won't take the quick tape this time, Dan. Good. <laughs> Jared Forkhorst, fine touch. Right on the 40 metre line here at Windsor Stadium. Yeah, just waiting for a, a ball boy to, to bring the ball back or to find the ball. Nathan Forkhorst will get us underway. There's the big 16, Daniel Ivan, just come onto the field. As uh, you can see the big bopper, Simon Kalafusa, getting a, a break. So hungry, they go to the left hand side now with Aaron Forkhorst. Good tackle. Okay, as it was down low. Through the hands, it's the 11 again, Garage. Playing out on that uh, left hand edge. A handful early. It takes three Greece players to bring him down. So what have they got here? The Hungarians going through the hands. Forkosh, a lovely pass. Puts Daniel Ivan over. Daniel Ivan crosses for Hungary's second try. And well, we almost had Forkosh for the players involved in that play. I think there was three of them. And Daniel Ivan, he's just come onto the paddock crosses for Hungary's second try. What a lovely short ball. Great sleight of hand. And just put Daniel Ivan into another hole. He still had a little bit to do. He had probably just over 10 metres to get to the try line as we see the replay here as they shift the ball to the right. Jared Forkhorst with a great little short ball. Daniel Ivan was strong enough to fend off the Greek defender and Hungary go over for their second try and the scoreline reads 10 points to 6 with a kick to come. Yeah, it's uh, been an entertaining game so far. Just under 20 minutes gone. Daniel Ivan from the Kiwana Dolphins. See Jared Forkhorst, she's lining this kick up. And uh, good feast of it, the uh, the first attempt. And they're looking to make it two from two. He's also had a run around with the uh, Redcliffe Dolphins in his child with the Dragons as well. So, bit of a uh, bit of pedigree there, Daniel Ivan. That uh, attempt at conversion has almost snapped the uprights. And he's still shaking there at that, that uh, southern end of the ground. So it remains 10 points to 6. Hungary here over Greece. If you're tuning into this coverage, let us know where you are. It's early mornings in Hungary or Greece. Let us know you're tuning in here to the Bar TV coverage. Kovac will play this 20 out from his own try line. This here was the try score, <laughs> Ivan. Apologies there to the Ivan family. This is Kovac. Nathan Kovac. He's his brother from dummy half, David. Hungary making good metres here on this set of six as Jared Forkhorst just kicks that downfield and Sam Stratus is just, well, it's just going to beat him into touch. I thought he was going to have a, a play at it and he thought better and we'll have a scrum on the 20 metre zone. Hungary's coach Jonathan Wilson will be absolutely wrapped with this first 20 minutes. Very impressive Hungary. 
Yeah, it's been a great start. So Hungary and the previous game, Turkey, they're, they're new at International Rugby League. They're only a few years old and um, very impressive. You would have said at the start of this tournament that uh, Greece and Malta would have been the favourites, but uh, Hungary and Turkey are standing up. Solid contact there. Aaron Forkosh helped out there by Gerich. This is Bastus. Quick play the ball. That pass could have been forward, but we've got a penalty. Too quick in the play the ball. It's a roll ball. You think they've got to come up with a better signal for that? Looks a bit awkward, doesn't it? The referee <laughs> sort of half squatting and throwing his arm between his legs. <laughs> Well, it works. Maybe we, something we, to work with in the off-season. Yeah. I'll send that one, that one up the chain, eh? Let's see how we go. Here's uh, it's Korvach. So coming out to this right-hand side is Ivan. 15 out from the grease line. We go to the left-hand side. David Corva, short pass there to Gerich. Did well to hang on there, the Greeks defenders. Coming up this right side again, Corvash runs to the line. Aaron Corvash. There you go again. Through the hands, Jared Corvash breaks the line. He's just lost his balance. He was through. Last tackle now for the Hungarians. The other short side. It's been deflected. Jared Corvash has got it. And he's on his back. The referee's going to say that will be a handover. So Greece survive. Yeah, only just so. Good play there from Hungary. A good place to give them back the ball too. Pin them down in their corner. Let's see if they can put some pressure on here with their defence. Korkidis. Probably the most experienced player in this Emerging Nations tournament. Oh, solid contact there. Korvach on Bastus. Muscling up here, the Hungarians in defence. It's been a good 20 minutes opening here. And now they've lost it, so they get the ball back here. Another opportunity here for the Bulls. Yeah, they lead 10 points to six at the moment, and Really good opportunity here for Hungary to, to pour the pressure on. We've got a viewer here from uh, Spain, Stephen Kilgallen. Oh, I'd love to be in Spain right now. <laughs> Asking you, is it windy over there? Blimey Gale. As we say that, the wind stops. Jared Forkhorst gets us underway. Goes to Insta Toros. That's a very hard one to pronounce. I did my best, I think, here as Forkhorst goes for a dart from dummy half. David Forkhorst will take the tackle. The ball's come loose. Been cleaned up by his brother. Scamp from dummy half was two ray. Two ray still going. A meter out from the line. Plenty of Greece jerseys there. He went pretty close there too, Ray. Through the hands, Jared Forkosh. Straighten things up. Oh, he's wrestled with the ground there. I think that's Sicarus. Talk about straightening things up. Right. David Forkosh is wrapped up there. Last tackle. Coming up to this right-hand side. Inside pass there to uh, Paul Ivan. It's still going here. The Got a one on two on one out here. Oh, very good cover defense. But Constantine had to be made because Billy Moser had his winger unmarked and Brett Vogor. And Constantine come from nowhere to clean him up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. welcome to Windsor Oval. James Corvart, he's going to be penalized for a shoulder charge, but that's what the fans want to see, don't they? Yeah, I thought he got his arm out there. It wasn't one of the traditional ones where you, you tuck the wing in and leave with the shoulder. I thought he had his arms up, but referee thought otherwise. We've had a reply from Spain as well. It's nice and sunny, so hey, good on you. It's been sunny here too. <laughs> Can't complain. So the 
Hunt back underway. Got some big hits out there as uh, Rios took that one. Is that uh, Sikarikas out there? He'll play it. It's Rosaglo, in fact. Go through the hands here. Greasley will go right with the ball. As soon as I say that, it goes over the head of Katsakanis. The Hungary have got it through Gerich. Yeah, I won't uh, tell the Greece coach that you said that. And Steve George Allis won't be happy with that. He's Benjamin Bronson. And a pullback. He wouldn't look out of place in the in the front row. He's Aaron Forcourt. Is it inside to Paul Ivan? Paul Korsh. So it's his brother Jared Paul Korsh. Moser at dummy half. It's Kulvach wrapped up there. So 28 out from the try line. Little stab in behind, but uh, Katsakonis is back there to clean it up. There's Tacoma. We'll go for a dart from dummy half. You can see the 14, Dane Weatherill's out there. Plays his footy with the Keefley Cougars in League One in the UK. I know there's four of them out there, but I've been very impressed with David Fourcourt so far. Plays for Penrith Brothers. It's been very impressive, the halfback. Oh, solid contact there on Branos. Scored the opening try for Greece. A kick there from uh, Therese. He goes behind Bronson. He'll clean this up on his own try line and bring it out. Runs straight into Margios. Looks to be limping a little bit, Bronson, as well. Wasn't moving very freely to get back to that one. Margius makes his second tackle. Also, Memonzola's helping out. So under a bit of pressure here, Hungary, to get this out of their own territory. The Greeks are muscling up here. So Rikus in there to help out with that tackle. And Jersey 16. They come to short side, Moser. Out pass has gone to no one, and Tacoma has picked it up. So, Greece, another opportunity here. 15 out from the Hungarians' line. Settler there. Oh, the ball's come out loose. In a loose carry, the referee's seen it that way. So, a let off here for the Bulls. Yeah, big let off, Greece. Just get the ball back in an attacking position, and plenty of tackles up their sleeve. And we have a loose carry, and the ball ends up on the deck, and Hungary get away with one. So, I'll work it off their own line now. The players uh, just getting a, a drink here. They're not in any hurry to pack their scrum. The Hungarians are a bit bunched there behind the, uh, the scrum. There's Moser. There from uh, Memonzolis into the rib cage. Brought the big front row down for Hungary. They have a short side again. They've been doing this a lot, uh, the Hungarians. That's Korvac, just short of the 40 metre zone. Play the David Forkors with the kick. It's 40 a good 20. Kick. It's a 40 very 20. David Forkosh. 40-20. First 40-20 of the tournament. And Hungary goes straight back on the attack. Big set of six coming up here. Ivan wanted the quick play of the ball, the quick tap. The referee says, no, hold your horses. Great kick from David Forkosh. Ivan. Weatherall at dummy half. Fourcourt, David Fourcourt, inside to Aaron Fourcourt, and it's been spilt. 
Margius is there to pick it up. Marmazellas with the one-on-one -on -one strip. Got his team out of trouble there. Yeah, he definitely needed it. It's uh, end, end stuff this game. Evenly poised. Looks like it's Branos brought down on that dust bowl. He's in the center of the field as Trezors runs. Oh, he's been hit hard. Shot. Margius is there to clean it up. And he runs straight into Vagor. Well, the four course brothers can play. <laughs> well, here goes Tacoma straight through the middle. Good tackle there around the legs from Aaron Fourcourse. And now Tacoma gets a penalty. Stratus wanted to take the quick tap, but the referee won't have a bar of it. Yeah, they're on a bit of a roll there, Greece. Uh, not the worst penalty to give away there from Aaron Forkosh. Slowing the play down gives his team a chance to set their line. Oh, there goes somebody's windscreen. <laughs> so Mar just gets us underway. Straight into the center field. He's Constantine. Oh, just within five meters of the try line. There we go through the hands again here. One-on-one -on -one steal again. So just when Greece built a bit of pressure, Hungary come up with a the answers here. Here we go. There's the return of fire there from the Greeks. There's Korvac. Getting on the short corridor again, that's Gerich. Good run from Jason Gerich. He's lost his boot through his travels. On the only short side, coming back inside's Moza. Jared Forkosh also looking for a 40 20. Good kick pressure there from the Greece. There's Katsikonis. Interesting, uh, the fullback for, for Greece. He's, he's moved out here onto this uh, near side wing. I think Margis. Uh, just been a few positional changes, changes here for the Greek team. Menzolas, he's still at dummy half. It's Ranos. Could play the ball. Menzolas picks it up in that dust. Here's Kokitas. And he's been picked up there by Jared Forkosh and slammed into the, the dirt here at Windsor Stadium. Come this short side again. Trezors puts it up. It's a high kick. It's going to fall in no man's land. And it's been cleaned up there by David Forkosh. Vogor, Brent Vogor just runs into a Greek brick wall. It's the 17 on, and it's uh, Karoi Ochioi. I think I've pronounced that correctly. No one stung, it's Brent Vogor. <laughs> Still feeling out the shoulder after that big tackle. So here's a, a chance here as. Mr. Turos has gone straight through him. He's got his support in the winger. Very well taken there. And we've got another try here coming up. Chris Touray scores Hungary's third try in the afternoon. Great break there made by Josh Instaturos. And Cruz Touray gets his name on the score sheet. Yeah, Instaturos went straight through, found his support in Touray, and nice little stiff arm there to get rid of the fullback. He goes over. Adjacent to the uprights. So uh, scoreline reads Hungary 14, Greece 6 with a kick to come. And uh, can't say they haven't deserved this lead, Paul. No, they've just been in front. Greece has had a few opportunities to spill. And here we go. We see Instaturos go straight through the line. He just slowed the play down, waited for his winger in support. Cruz Ture he still had a bit of work to do. He got him around his opposite number. Hooray, said hooray. 
They've been very impressive, Hungary, so far. Been ultra impressed with the half back, David Forcourt. He's looked very classy out there. The middlemen are doing their jobs. And Greece just can't find the answers at the moment. Still plenty of time left in this one, though. Five minutes till half time as well, so time for Greece to hit back. So, Jared Forkosh aiming to add the extras. And a good crowd has uh, come in here to Windsor Stadium throughout the day. A big Turkish contingent early. Also Maltese supporter base. It's four course. Oh, that one's waved away too. So it remains 14 6. Still plenty of people on the far Good side the there the viewing from the, uh, the Leagues Club. Yeah, I've been impressed with the turnout today. The Turkish fans have, have won the day in regards to the fan stakes. They were. Loud and proud early on. It's good to see those guys out in numbers and can see a few Hungarian flags out and about as well. It is. A few Greek jerseys and jumpers around. So, restart back underway. This is big Daniel Ivan. He's built the ball. So, <laughs> that happened so much in rugby league after, after a try has been scored. The, try, the team that scores the try switch off. Now, big opportunity here for Greece. Plenty of time on the clock. Three minutes 30 probably by the time they pack this scrum. and Gives them plenty of options in regards to fifth tackle options. and They don't have to rush things. They can be patient. So here's Arunas. And it goes here to Takahomo. Twenty out the Hungarians line. Ken Greece hits straight back. As Rosaglo takes a charge, gets within 12 meters. They're set deep out here to the left hand side, but slow play the ball. But Rosaglo gets a penalty. A hand involved there. So that's Margolius. Still going Margolius. I think he lost the ball in and the Hungarian player gave it back to him. Good sportsmanship. Andres is. He goes. The Margius. He yeah, looks like he's playing in the centres. Nick Margius. Menzolas goes from dummy half. He's dangerous. He's lost the ball though. The referee's called play on. Now he calls. We'll have a halt to that. Uh, it'll be a Greece knock on. I thought he was going to allow that to play on there for a moment. Yeah, I thought he was too. And. Uh the Hungarian defenders on this side of the field all sort of stopped and waited to see what was happening. I thought Greece might pinch a try there, but they've done well to hold them out again, Hungary. So uh, keep the tweets coming in, all the messages on Facebook. Let us know what part of the world you're watching from. At the moment, Hungary up 14 points to six. Last of three games here on the opening day of the Emerging Nations Championships. It's Billy Moser. He's brought down on the 10 metre line. Four course at dummy half. Oh, solid contact there. That's Ochi Oi. Here's the 14, Weatherill. In fact, that's, <laughs> that's Moser Weatherill's at dummy half. Two 14s, well, two 4 and 14 look very similar. As Califaz has wrapped up just short of the 40 metre line. Goes back to four course for the kick. He's looking dangerous, looking for another 40 20. That one's not going to get there. Stratus will clean it up for Greece. And he runs straight into the shoulder of Vagoa. Helped out also by Ivan. Margius. He's wrapped up just over the 30 metre line. 
Emanzolis looking for some meters from dummy half, wrapped up on the 40. Vorgor with a little cheeky, uh, look to be open hand slap there. He's got away with one. Kikitas has thrown a cutout pass. It's been cleaned up by Margius. The referee says there's a little knock on there. So there's nothing going right on the grease side here at the moment. You can see the bench there. Looking on. Can't wait to give it on the sheds at half time. Clock Just ticking down. We might get one play here if the referee decides to call time off, which he does. So they'll have one shot here, Hungary. See what they've got in their bag of tricks. So, six seconds to go on the official time. Just let you know our clock on your screen is only a guide as there's the four course, David Four Korsh. And back inside is Mr. Turos. And that'll be half time, but I don't think the ref yeah, the referee has heard the, the sick cow blow half time. So here at half time here at Windsor Stadium, it's Hungary 14, Greece 6. We'll take a quick break and be back with the second half action.
wins the stadium for the second half. Hungary leading by eight points here so far. The Hungarian side, they're out onto the field. And uh, pretty surprising start. Greece were hot favourites for this game, but the Hungarians have just come out and uh, they've done everything right the first half. As the Greece side comes out onto the field. Playing their 18th test match here today, the Greeks. Yeah, very impressed with Hungary in that first half. They deserve that eight-point lead. Greece have got a lot of work to do to take themselves back into this one. Those lights are starting to kick in now, Paul. I was just looking at the, you know, our monitors there, and it doesn't look too bad, but it is getting dark pretty quick here at Windsor. The lights aren't the biggest or the brightest, so um, hopefully we'll be able to see the players at the end of the end of the match. So just waiting for the referee to blow time on. And we're underway. A shallow restart again. It's going to fall short, but eventually Garrich is just picked up and then barreled into the ground. So Weatherall staying out there for the Hungarian side and now they get a penalty so the piggyback out of their own territory is a perfect start for the Hungarians. Yeah, they'll uh, kick this one into touch and start the set in Greece's half. So 14 points to 6. I know it's a bit of a cliche but next points are pretty important in this game. So they are the, uh, doesn't look like we've got a ball boy anymore. It's like a, a ball man who just placed that ball down on the ground. I think he asked for three pies and three cans of Coke and they turned him down. So <laughs> Fair enough. He's gone home after two games. That's Ochi Oi. So, slow play the ball. Yeah, back in field. This is Ivan. 35 out from Greece's try line. Another slow play the ball. You got Ivan on his back. Weatherall appealing for a penalty. Here's Bronson. Plays for UTS Balmain Tigers in the A grade competition. Benjamin Bronson. And the other short side. Nice pass there from uh, Paul Ivan. Put Billy Moser through a half gap. He's wrapped up. 18 out from the grease line. They've got the back line set deep here as they go through the four course brothers here. Inside pass the garage. Runs straight into Paul Ketis there and he's brought the ground. Weather rule at dummy half. Four course. And that little pass could have been forward to Ivan. The referee's picked it up. Yeah, good spot by the touchy there. Jared four course just spraying that one a bit forward, a touch forward. And the referee was in a perfect position to pick it up, so well done. And shout out to all our officials today. They've done a great job here in the Emerging Nations Championships. So uh, Trying to milk a penalty there, Greece, and <laughs> the referee not falling for it. Stratus gets up now. This is Takamo. Just over the 30 metre line. Out to the left-hand side with uh, Sikarikas. It's probably the hardest one I've got to pronounce here. Well, solid contact there on Varnos. Last tackle now for Greece. They're over halfway. It's back to Terzas. Ball's allowed to bounce. Two rate. He got one in the first half. Toure still going. He's got to defend Cruz Toure. Did very well there. The winger got down to the ground. Made sure he didn't go out into touch. Here's Bronson. And Cruz Toure. He got a good fend. He, he palmed off the winger in the first half. And he palmed off Margius then. Looks like number 17, Lawrence Zarunas, has gone back to fullback as well, Paul, for Greece. So a little bit of a reshuffle there in the back line. Daniel Ivan has uh, dropped, well, oh, he's dropped the ball there in the dust bowl. The referee's done very well to pick that up in that cloud of dust. Could have lost the ball there. 
Yeah, very dry conditions out there today. I haven't had rain for a while here at Windsor, Australia, so we've actually got somebody tuning in from Greece, cheering on Greece. So big shout out to Amanda West for joining us on Bar TV Sports. Yep, yeah, it's good to have everybody tuning into the stream. Thanks to Bar TV Sports. Back underway. It's the 17, Zarunas, Lawrence Zarunas. And the bright orange boots. He had out on the left hand side now. Constantine is taken down. 35 out from the try line. He's a big 16, Sikarekis. Quick play the ball. We go to the left hand side again. Oh, it's not a bad grab there from Margius. Still going Margius. Still going across field. Eventually he's brought ground eight metres out from the Hungarian try line. He's got numbers both sides. Trying to milk a penalty. It doesn't come. Is Kokitas. Still five out from the try line. Memonzolis waits for it from dummy half. Goes out the back. Zaronis puts it on the toe. This could be a try. Uh, knock on. Couldn't pick it up cleanly. Came off Hungarian legs. So Lawrence Zaronis has put that down. It was a good kick there from Alex Zaronis. Back inside. We'll see it here on the replay. Nice little kick inside. And well, Weatherall got a hand to it. And it's all fish and chip paper now. As Hungary bring us out of their own territory. Ochioi. Come down this short corridor. He's Ivan. Busy in the first half. Picked up a try. Come off the bench and was only out there a matter of seconds and picked up his try. Forkosh puts that down to Zoronis. Good take from a young fullback. He's met there heavily by two Hungarians. Gerrit over the top. Six and a half minutes gone in the second half and Hungary still holding that eight point lead. Just saying to uh, Tyrone Takamano, just take that back. Try again. Here we go now. As a glow will play it. Yeah, that short side again. Suresh. Oh, good ball. Smoogie off. Stralos is going to score. Just lost his number there for a moment. Sam Stratos has scored. And that's what Greece needed was the hit back. And they have done that. 14-10 with a kick to come. That was a lovely ball out there by Terzis. The Greeks hit back. Stratos with some good footwork to beat the cover defence as well. We'll see it on the replay in a second. But once he got through that gap, he still had the fullback to beat. Let's put it on a little move. You see it here, lovely face ball, puts his centre into a hole, he comes to the fullback, he, he looks to go in and then does the in and away and the fullback just can't come across to get him. He goes in in the corner. 14-10, game on. A little salute there from Sam Stratus. Great ball there from Tremaine Terzis. That tried a great score by number four, Sam Stratus. Has a score to Hungary, 14, Chris Tanner with a kick to come. Important kick here, 14 10. Just over half an hour to go on this. Got another viewer tuning in from Athens, Greece, this time. Cheering on the blue and whites. Good shout out to Stuart McLennan. Your team's just gone over in the corner. And this conversion could bring it to within two points. Shout out to Stuart. Thanks very much for tuning in. Make sure you share it so all your friends in Greece can tune into this. More people tune into rugby league, the better, especially for these emerging nations. 
And that's the project. Two metres in from touch. He strikes at last. Not a bad kick. It's there. Brilliant kick from Sam Stratus. 14-12. Conversion successful has scored at 114. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Twelve. Bit of a lair, Sam Stratus. He uh, celebrated early for that try, and there's a few Hungarian supporters on the hill. He just showed them the badge. I reckon they might have been giving him a bit of grief lining yeah. up that kick, so just getting one back. So Jared Forkhorst will put this on the kicking tee as his brother Aaron Forkhorst just comes back out onto the field. Underway. It's a good deep kick off. Well taken there by Zoranos. Zoranos has met and brought down on the 20 metre line. Five in from touch. Quick play of the ball. It's Margolis it's pinches another 10 or so metres. Evans Olis a dummy half. This is Kokitas. Four course down low. Ochioi over the top. Sends Kokitas backwards. Here's Takamo. So Greece, they got their tail up here now. Good set of six. Takamo trying to milk a penalty there, not coming. So they go through the hands again as Terzis. Tyron puts his on the kick. Bronson in good field position, cleans it up. The defense is down there quickly. Now, Greece are muscling up in defence, and all of a sudden, that's Hungary that look like they're uh, a bit out of sorts. Here's Vagor. Brent Vagor. It's good to see a grey headed winger out there. From the St Mary's Club. You know, sloppy play the ball, but the referee allows it to play on. Here's Gerich. Gerich has been one of the best players out there for, for Hungary this afternoon, the back rower. Ochioi. Just over halfway now. Last tackle for the Hungarians. Pressure kick there for Jared Farkos. Yeah, straight down the Zoranis. Zoranis will run across field, but they're there in numbers. That's a great tackle there from David Farkos. The ball's come loose. Hungary were looking to play on, but second best result. I'll have a scrum feed, 10 out from the Greeks line. I can't talk him up enough, David Forkor. He was out sitting in the first half, kicked a 40-20, put a try on the plate for one of his uh, outside backs as well, and now he's come up with a massive play in defence in the second half. He's been outstanding today, the little halfback. Oh, look at that, solid contact. Small bloke on small bloke. Ball comes loose. Oh, gee, could have been play on, but not to worry. So hungry after being under pressure for the last five or so minutes. Golden opportunity to post points. We have a full start in the scrum. So the set deep out of the right hand side. Looks like a replacement's coming on. It's the big number 10, James Corvarch. As we go through the hands. Moza. He'll take the tackle 10 out from the try line. Forkors, David Forkors steps. Good tackle around low. Korkidis. Nathan Forkors at dummy half. Here's David Forkors. He's Bronson. Benjamin Bronson. He gets the ball away to Instaturos. Still going, Instaturos. Still going. Not a penalty here. As Bronson's down in back play. Yeah, this for the hit on him. He got lifted up into an awkward position and put down. So they'll get another full set here, Hungary. So Weatherill, Keithley Cougar, and just find the touch line as we see here on the replay. Injury that happened to Bronson. Four course. Corvarch. Golden opportunity here for the Bulls. Here's Ochioi. Tries to pop the pass out. The referee, I 
thought he was going to allow play on, but no, it's built. So a lead off there for Greece. Both teams guilty of trying to push that pass. It looks like the, you know, it's a tight game. The, the players are enjoying themselves out there. And he just had a little look, tried to pop the pass, and it was enough for a knock on. So Alex Arunas will feed the scrum. Here's Tamoko. Now he ends inside a penalty. So, just when we thought it was swinging back in favour of Hungary, Greece get a piggyback out of their territory. And oh, well, as I say that, there's a commentary curse there. Very well done there. By two rate. Bronson's got it. That's the second time you've done that to Greece, Paul. <laughs> Steve George Alice will be fuming. It's very dark in the centre of the field here. He's two right. Just short of the 40 metre line. Weatherall appealing for a penalty. He doesn't get it. Here's Gerrich. Gerrich pops the pass out to Ochioi. So numbers both sides here. They're going out to the right hand side through four course. Links up with his brother Jared, who pops the pass there to Ivan. Ivan gets away from one. Big fend off with another one. He's still going. What a run this is from Ivan. He just needs support. He's got Jared Forkhorst with him. Five out from the line. Great run from Paul Ivan. Still going. Inside pass here to Korvach. Did the dummy there. It was Forkhorst. Weatherall waits for it a dummy half. They come to the left hand side again. Forkosh gives it to Gerrich. Gerrich pops it out the back. Picked up by Forkosh again. Still the last. He puts it on the toe. And Magios is there to clean it up. So we'll have a scrum. I tell you what, Paul Ivan looked like Jonah Lomi rugby there. Had the big left arm out. Fend, 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 fend. Outstanding stuff from the big man. So that Greece will bring this out. There's heavy contact again from the Hungarians. Mr. Turos in the tackle, also Ochioi. So a run from dummy half goes Mangolis. Here's Arunas. So again, Takoma plays the ball down, looking for a quick play of the ball. He's fallen over. Could have given away a penalty, but uh, very so lucky there. As Vranos runs into trouble, earns his side a penalty. Things are starting to heat up out there in the middle. Mimonzolis wanted a quick tap, but the referee says no, come back. Things are heating up nicely as I don't think that's going to find touch again. Oh, oh just. Cruz Touré, that was a brilliant effort by the winger. Got hands to it and it landed just on the sideline. Very unlucky there, Touré. Have a scrum. It's a coach yeah, killer that. once oh. in a game, and if you do it twice yeah, in a game, you might not get another run. Emerging Nations Rugby League at its best there. Cruz Touré almost pulled off a blinder of a save. Tell you what, Paul, you said it was getting dark out in the middle. We've still got another 20 minutes to go in this one. <laughs> it's only going to get worse. So here we go. It's hard enough to see the Greece numbers as it is. Go to the left hand side. It's the big 16 there is uh, Billy Siracus. From the hands again, Zarunas. Out the back to Majalis. The gut was Zarunas again, does it dumb. He gives it to Lawrence Zarunas. Lawrence Zarunas, he's light on his feet, comes back in field, tries to step around. Good tackle around the legs there from Aaron Borkosh. This cuts Akonis. There's an error in the play, the ball. Well, now we've got a penalty. Oh, late call. Must have come from a touch, Judge. So what do you do here, Dan? Uh, you've got to take the two, surely. Scoreline reads 14 points to 12, Hungary over Greece. Greece with a gift two points. No, they tap it. The tap. And, uh, 
Coronas will play the ball. Gonzalez from dummy half charging onto it is Serekis. They stop him. Held up, I think. Serekis so close. Yeah, from the line. They go through the hands. Aronis looking to do a bit of a run around, dancing around himself. We had to pick up that number there in the dark out there on that far side. That's Adonis, I think it is, who will play the ball. And for the hands again is Zacharanis. 16. Coming out of this right hand side again, Zaronas. He'll run himself. Alex Aronis. What a tackle. What a tackle. Benjamin Bronson with probably the tackle of the tournament. I know there's only been three games, but I'll say it here on Bar TV Sports. And a penalty. penalty to boot. What a try saver. He was going to score for all money, Zarunas. We see the replay. Throws the dummy, goes through. The big 17, Ochoi got there as well. Great effort from both players involved. Hungry survive. Will that be costly if they didn't go for the two points there? Time will tell. Oh. Oh, very quick was Alex Arunas. Can we get a penalty? Nicoletti didn't like that. He's just come on the field. Jula Nicoletti. So the referee's going to call Alex Arunas out. Yeah, that one crept up a bit high. Team shooting out of the line. Referee's having a bit of a chat to him now. Looks like a few people agree with me earlier, Paul, and should have taken the easy two and start again. They took the tap instead, Greece, and now back-to-back -back penalties will see Hungary go on the attack. It's a full Porsche. Finds touch in the second tier of the grandstand here at Windsor Stadium. I nearly caught that one. Here we go, here's Gerich charging into the line. Puffs up a bit of dust for his troubles. 38 metres to go. Hungry. What can they come up with here? Aaron Forecourse is brought down. His brother Nathan Forecourse waits for it at dummy half. So go out through the hands. Here's Ivan again. He gets away from the first one. Tries to get the hands free. Paul Ivan, he's proved a handful out on that right hand edge. This is Jared Forkosh. He's the big front rower here, Korvach. 12 metres out from the Greece line. They're scrambling in defence here, the Greeks. Going through the hands again here is Forkosh. Forkosh, great tackle. It's been popped out the back of Instituros. And in the end, Greece pop come up with it. Well, another try saver. We've seen two in two minutes. Aaron Forkosh, I thought he was through and... This time it's Greece that's scramble and hold on for dear life. You were right, Paul. He looked like he was through. He looked like he was going to stroll over for the try. We see the replay. Just got him around the bootlaces. It's Magiolas with that tackle. Made him force the pass. And help Greece dodge another bullet there. Here's Tacoma as he's done from pretty much every restart, taking the first hit up. Is Bastus, Stefanos Bastus. Going to that short side again, it's a lovely cutout pass there. And he's come back inside his Katsikonis. Stratos, in fact. Good one there from Adam Vanos. He'll play it right on halfway. The hands again is Zaranos. Picking up here with Magiolis. Last tackle now for Greece. Alex Zaranos will put this high. It's lost in the darkness here. Bronson's got some work to do. He does well. Gets away from the first attempt to tackle. And she's brought down. Jake Dronos in the tackle. Yeah, well taken oh. there. 
Well, Nicoletti he had a little bit of a look there, Julian Nicoletti. And invites Greece back into it here. Yeah, just a lapse of concentration there from Hungary. It was a great take from the fullback Bronson. Ball nearly came down with snow on it. Stood underneath it, took it well, and then just a handling error on the first tackle, second tackle. Big thank you to Graham Wood, who's showing us some love from the Philippines. He's tuning in via Bar TV Sports. Graham Wood. Graham Wood. Is that the former Australian Test cricketer? Graham I have Wood? no idea. His pitch is too small. <laughs> Let us know if you're the uh, former Test cricketer, Graham. So we're back underway. That's Constantine. Terry Constantine, jersey 11. On his back. He looks to be a bit injured after that one. Time off here called, so it's just over 15 minutes of play left in this third match, Pool B match between Greece and Hungary. Earlier on, Malta got over the Philippines, and then Turkey got out of trouble against the Solomon Islands. Solomon Islands come home strong. So three entertaining games here to kick off the Emerging Nations World Championships here on Bar TV Sports. We're back underway. Yeah, center field. Full set of six. It's a run us again. Oh, cut out pass there and swung to Rosaglow. Straight into the bread basket and he was thumped. It's Cherekis being driven back. So there's still 10 meters out here at Greece. They go out to the left hand side. It's Trezor as he's put it down. So, just when you think Greece are going to come up with something, they fall short with that. Yeah, and let Hungary off the hook. 14-12. They had a chance to take a gift two points earlier on Greece and turned it down, so the pressure builds for them. 15 minutes to go in this one. They were favoured to take this game out as well, so... Not long for Hungary left to hold on. They're probably going to need another try at least, I think, Hungary. They can't just sit on this lead. Oh, we've got a win against the feed here almost. No, we don't. Don't be silly, Paul. That doesn't happen anymore. It's got to happen at least once in an Emerging Nations tournament. It's part of the rules. Should well, be anyway. The referee's not having it. Not today. So, referee, it's, uh, it's one we can see out there. I wonder pick up on the screen here it's uh, it's a lot darker um, but coming through the screen is coming through not too bad as Bronson that's the first hit up of this set whether we're all waiting for dummy half and here's Gerich comes into a Greek brick wall again spun to the ground there by Rosaglow slow play the ball and it looked like Gerich was hanging on to Rosaglow's boot there Dart from dummy half as Forkosh. Yeah, from Forkosh, he's wrapped up there by Sikorak and Zarunas. Here's a big charge here from Kalafus. And Forkosh goes into dummy half. Goes back to Jared. Inside the 40, but it's going to hold up. A dodgy bounce there from Zarunas. Lawrence Zarunas gets around one, gets around two, he straightens up, gets around another. Lawrence Zarunas, what a good run, gets over halfway. And yeah, not the best kick chase there from Hungary, they look to be tiring. Mendezales comes to the right hand side, he's being picked off there with Stratus. The Greek supporters are pulling for offside as Bastus charges forward, he only knows one way. 35 out from the line, they go to the left hand side. Short pass there to Constantine. Gonzalez, here's Bastus again. Looking to get the pass away, he couldn't. Pass tackle. What have they got here, Grace? Can they come up with something? Zarunas, good pass to Majolis. Here we go for Magios. Throws it back inside. Who's going to pick it up? It's been picked up by Magolis again. Here's Tamako. 
kicks it inside. Oh, it's been cleaned up. Oh, oh God. Mamanzolis. What a try. Peter Mamanzolis, Johnny on the spot, gets Greece in front, 16-14. Is that the match, Dan Cameron? They say seeing is believing. I don't believe what I've just seen. That is one of the more unbelievable tries I've ever seen in rugby league. As I was watching it, I didn't know what to say. As we'll get the replay up here, but they just kept the ball alive, Greece. A shift to the right. The play looks to be wrapped up here. The ball gets dumped inside. Rolls back, rolls back. They pick it up. Still the last tackle. Manages to get a flick pass out. The centre steps back inside. He puts a kick directly across field. It's <laughs> caught, offloaded, and flick pass in the nearly the one motion. And Greece go in and score under the uprights. I've seen it all. That is absolutely brilliant. The Australian national team would be happy with a try like that. Right. We're sitting here watching Hungary versus Greece. That watch, was amazing. Dean, I watched three NRL grand finals yesterday, and none of them compare to what I've seen today here at Windsor Stadium. What a try. It's heartbreaking for Hungary. There's still plenty of time left, though. Ten minutes on the clock. Still plenty of time for Hungary to hit back, but that's a real backbreaker, that one. Still over 10 minutes to go. Stratos adds the extras. So 18 points to 14. That's right, at least scored by number nine, Peter Mamazentis. Mitch Tanza, who's watching from Budapest, Hungary, will uh, he won't be happy with that one. Greece, 18, Hungary, 14. Taking their time with the restart. Just waiting for the, uh, the trainer to bring out the kicking tee. As I said, there's still just over 10 minutes remaining in this match. This pool C fixture. And all of a sudden, it's Hungary who are playing catch up now. Greece lead 18 points to 14. We've got just under 10 minutes to go here at Windsor Sporting Complex. And what's been a great first day of the Emerging Nations World Championships. It's a deep kick off. The Bastards to charge onto it, run straight into the Hungarian defence. Korvac, well, a bit too enthusiastic there. Just gets a piggyback out of their own territory. And they'll just uh, eat up a bit of time here, decide what they want to do. Of course, they're going to kick for touch. <laughs> and a cheer from the, the Greece supporters as Alex Arunas finds touch. We tried to kick that one over the roof. That's Nick Margios. We'll play it just short of halfway. Here's Memanzolis. Good run from dummy half from Peter Manzolis. Steps around one. The cover comes. Good tackle from Instituros. And now we'll get up gingerly and play it. Here's Alex Arunas. Is that number 14, Jake Varnos? So come back to this right hand side. Lovely cut out oh, pass. Just couldn't be taken. To Akamo. He's had a great game. Tyrone to Akamo. It was just out in front of him, wasn't it? He, he's tried the old go-go gadget arms, but not long enough, and the ball has drifted into touch with the try line begging. So, just a reminder, there'll be four games at St Mary's on Thursday, kicking off at 11.55. So, if you enjoyed what you've seen today and you're a local in the Sydney area, I suggest you get to St Mary's. Only $5 entry. Why wouldn't you come down? Yeah, for four games of rugby league, it's good value. We've got Malta taking on Niue. We've got Japan taking on Turkey. Hong Kong taking on Poland. And Hungary taking on Vanuatu. Well, that should be a beauty too. Hungary beat Vanuatu. Korvac. Just over the 30 metre line. Going to the right hand side through the hands. And 
Moser was brought down, trying to pinch a couple more metres, maybe trying to milk a penalty. He's oh. done it. <laughs> He's done it all right. The supporters there on the hill, they're all Hungarian supporters. That one came from the touch judge. Good touch finder there too. Well, with only seven minutes on the clock, this might be one of their best chances. Hungary, full set of six, inside Greece's half. It's Paul Varch. James Paul Varch has been busy for the Hungarians. Jared Forkorsch. He's the 16, Daniel Ivan. I'd be giving it to the other Ivan, Paul. He's been unstoppable this second half. And we'll go back inside. Here is Paul Ivan. Come to the left hand side now. Forkosh. Lane to the line. Links up with his brother Aaron. Forkosh tries to get away. Good jersey grab there. Still wrestling in the tackle. He'll play it. Weatherall at dummy half. Nathan Forkosh. Jared Forkosh. Here's Paul Ivan. Linking up with Moser. We've got a chance here on the corner. He's got to step back inside. Does he get it down? Oh. Did he get it down? Oh, I, can see the I think ball he did. On the line. I think he did. We've got a try here. Hungry over. We're locked up at 18 all with less than six minutes to go. What a try there. Is it Brent Van Gore on that far side? For Gore, I beg your pardon. The grey ghost over in the corner. A little bit in from the corner, actually. It's, it's, it's not the hardest kick. It, it'll be a difficult one, but chance to put Hungary back in front with just over five minutes remaining as they shift to the right-hand side. They just outstripped them for numbers. Big Ivan got on the outside. He found his unmarked wing of the centre. Van Gore steps back inside one, comes to the fullback. Eventually gets the ball down. There it is on the ground. And it's 18 all with a kick to come. Five minutes to go. Hungary is scored by Brent Varga. Tessa scored 100. 18. Greece 18 with a kick to come. And you might have thought that that miracle try we saw earlier, Paul, might have just been the straw that broke the camel's back for Hungary, but they've dug in deep and, and got themselves back on level terms. So, Jared Forkosh. Probably one of the most important kicks of his rugby league career coming up here. Early on, this could mean a ticket into the semi finals. Strikes it nicely, he's got it. Joe Forkhorst adds the extras. 20 to 18 with less than five on the clock. We're in for a ripper for the five minutes here, Dan McKinley. Well, they've got themselves back in front, Hungary. There's still four minutes on the clock, so Greece will probably get two uses of the football. This one isn't over yet, Paul. So we're back underway. It's a shallow, it's a high restart. It's been allowed to bounce, but Bronson is there to clean it up. What a pressure kick that was from Jared Forkosh. Certainly was. He's Ivan. His nerves everywhere. The crowd, they're on the edge of their seats. On the tippy toes, if you're on the hill, Hungarian supporters. Here's Daniel Ivan. The ball's come loose. One on one scoop. It's a chance here. Greeks will have the last say here. Here's Memonzolis. He's been dangerous from dummy half. Como waits for it at dummy half. Yeah, center field. So Runas. Not down. 15 out from the try line. They come to this short side again. Here's Majolis. Tries to get the arms free. There's four Hungarians there to wrap him up. No left hand side again. Zoronis, so long pass out to Trezors. Plenty of numbers. Links out, a short pass there as we got out there. Stratos again! I thought he was over. Sam Stratos brought down three metres out from the try line. Pass goes back to Trezors. There's Zoronis. Links up there with Magios. Gone straight in the hand. What a catch. What a slips catch that is. That's Josh Instaturos there for the Hungarians. 
he'll play it. Two and a half minutes to go on the clock, on the official clock, two ray, Cruz, two ray. He's been one of Hungary's best. Scored a good try in the first half and now makes a good run for his team. Here's Paul Korsh. They've just got to hold on to it here, Hungary, and get to their kick. Just make Greece go 90 or 100 metres to, to win the game. Here's the big front rower, James Korvach. He's been busy as well. So on the short side with Jareff. Jared Paul Korsh. This is the last. Need a good kick away here. It's not a bad one. It's split between the winger and the, the fullback. But Tukamo is there to pick it up. Just charges straight into Instaturos. Garrick is over the top. I'll tell you what, Instaturos isn't well here. Neither of them are. So the referee's blowing time off on the official time. There's a minute 32 left. Just to let you know our clock on your screen, it's just a guide. It's at 20 points to 18. A knife's edge here at Windsor Stadium. The first day, the opening day of the Emerging Nations World Championships here. Brought to you by Bar TV Sports. Hope you're enjoying the coverage wherever you are. We've had a good day here. The first opening day, as I said, Malta got up early on against Philippines. And Turkey up over the Solomon Islands. So we see a replay here. Ooh. He's got his head in the wrong position there. In Satoris. Well, Tyrone to Akamo. That's probably the end of his day. He's had a strong game. A big winger for Greece. He's just come off the field. Probably go for a uh, head assessment, you would think. But uh, Josh Instaturos, he's still on the field. Easy's football with St Mary's Rugby League as well. Just down the grounds, a few St Mary's representatives. His Hungarian side. That's where we'll be coming from on Thursday, St Mary's. Four games live on Bar TV. Yeah, another massive, massive day of Rugby League. So if you're tuning in from Europe, make sure you, you get a good night or a good day sleep beforehand if you tune in for all four games so just uh, being cautious here the, the trainers and the officials here to make sure he's, he's okay so there the uh, officials there talking to Tyron to a coma on the bench he looks to be okay which is good news but out in the centre there Josh Mr. Turos is, is still down. Sort of a bit of a lull. Still got a minute 32 left in this game. I'm not sure who this favours more. Does it favour Hungary, who get a bit of a breather in and get a chance to set their line? Or does it favour Greece, who get a bit of a chance to have a chat and maybe put a set play or two on here? And this will probably be the last use of the ball they'll get, barring a one-on-one -on -one strip or a penalty. Well, I assume there's no extra time or, or golden point. So, uh, if there is, then that favours Benoit, who has to play Hungary on Thursday. But, uh, good to see uh, Mr. Turos has brought him up, so he's sitting up right now, which is good news. When you look back to that penalty right in front of the post for Greece when they were down by two points earlier in the second half. We, we wondered if it might come back to bite them. Well, we're in the same situation now with a minute and a half to go. Winston Turos is back to his feet. That's a great sign. I want to say well done to the uh, the Windsor Wolves volunteers here. They've put on this, uh, well, they've hosted today's event and uh, done a great job all the volunteers of the Windsor Wolves so we thank you very much for helping out with the Rugby League International Federation make sure this game gets underway so we're about to get time blown back on by the referee minute 32 on the clock Paul 
Let's see what Greece have got. Oh, he's been just picked up and driven back. Good defence from Hungary. Paul Ivan is at a stellar game. His Korkidis charges into him. Can he get the ball the way he can't? We've already seen one miracle try tonight. Have they got another one in them? Oh, that pass has just gone. It's an awkward bounce for Margios. And Hungary pick it up through Gerich. So into the final minute now. Hungary just need to hang on to the ball here. This will be the slowest set of six in emerging nations history, I think. Four tackles worth of cramps coming up. It's Cruz to right for the Milton Ulladulla Club here on the south coast. A slow play of the ball. Here's Ivan. Clock ticks down. Grease point. Oh! They'll get a chance, Grease, if they can pack the scrum. Aaron 26, Forkos. 25 seconds to go. Forkos, he just had a little bit of a peep there at the defence. Was thinking about where he was going to kick it, I think. And uh, 19 seconds on the clock. What a finish we got coming up here. 20 to 18, Hungary lead Greece. Just a bit of a peep there from. Aaron Forkosh, he might have that five seconds over again. So, Alec Zoranis has the ball in hand, he'll feed it. He's setting up here for a play. And underway here is Trezis, he goes out the back to Stratos. Carlos is wrapped up there on that far side there by Jared Forcourt. This will be the Quick last play. The play. Last play. Oh, it's a Hail Mary of a pass. This has gone right over the back here. They've got the numbers here. It's a good run here by Magolios. Magolios palms off one, but he's wrapped up the defences there. Hungary hang on to win. Hungary take the points. 20 points for 18. What a great game to finish off the opening of the Emerging Nations World Championships. Dan McKinley, who's your best on field for that? Oh, the little halfback from Hungary, David Forkos. He was outstanding. Kicked the 40 20, put on a couple of tries. Um, all the four courses were good, the four of them. They were outstanding. And uh, the two Ivans as well, Paul Ivan and Daniel Ivan. It, it's hard to split them. What a great victory for yeah, Hungary. Yeah, bit of an upset, you would say. First boil over the tournament. And well, if that game is anything to come here on the Emerging Nations World Championship, we're in for a treat for this next fortnight. That was brilliant stuff from both teams. Yeah, can't wait for Thursday now, Paul. Well, that's all the time. We we'll Basically, we'll wrap things up here. It's been a massive day for VAR TV Sports. Hope you enjoy the coverage wherever you're from. Uh, as I said, we'll be back on air Thursday with four games. And uh, hopefully, hopefully you can join us then. But it's Paul Arundel and Dan McCanley signing out. Thanks to all our production crew, Monique, Justin, Travi, and Brendan on the sideline. Good stuff, guys. We'll see you Thursday.